Morning all. Um, Mr Woodley and I thought it would be better for me um, delivering it this way um, rather than uh, him covering the lesson. Um, so you've obviously got your mock exam Wednesday of this week. Um, this obviously won't be included within that. Um, but we do need to kind of make a start on the UK and US executives um, and try and get this done by Christmas so that we can move on to the move on to the last stage of my component, which is the Supreme Court on both sides. Um, so this is kind of like a bit of a run through of what we're going to be looking at over the next couple of weeks. So some of this will be done remotely like this. Um, and so I'd like to think that I'll be clear to come back to work on the, I think it's the 3rd of, 3rd of November after, after half term. Um, so we're going to be looking at the UK executive. So we'll look at the structure today and then the roles later on this week. Um, and then, and then there's, there's kind of like a bit of an overview as to, as to what we're going to go through over the next few weeks. Now, obviously we need to just keep a bit of an eye on the news articles that are happening, um, from both the U S and the UK side. Um, so if you look at the. US, the UK news, um, there's quite a lot of stuff that's obviously been happening over the past week and that's happening even as I even as I record this. So we've got the Daily Star um, competition between Liz Truss and Lettuce and who's going to win that. And the dismantling of Trussonomics and Jeremy Hunt is making a statement today. Um, I'm recording this at 11, so he should be doing it in the next 15 minutes or so. So try to keep try to keep um, across that. Um, there's a statement to the House of Commons at 3.30 uh, 30 today. Um, so again, try to keep the main points out of that. Um, something that may not have necessarily um, been put in your path in the past week is that Sam Terry won't be an MP after the next election. Um, so the local, the local party met last week and decided to deselect him. Um, which may in part have been due to him being on the picket lines um, for the strike actions recently. Um, he has been replaced as a candidate by, uh, I believe he's the leader of the, of the local local authority of, of Redbridge Council, someone called Jazz Atwal, um, <clears throat> who was in the running last time. So he seems to have got his way um, at this point. Um, I think what you'll need to look at on this one is what wing of the party Sam Terry would align himself with, um, why he became, why he was able to become an MP in the first place, and to then think about um, how Jazz Atwal would be, would be different. You'd have to go local news for, for Jazz Atwal and, and to see what his sort of policies are on the local level um, and to see how different he would be from, from Sam Terry. Um, on the US side, um, so last week, uh, Trump has been subpoenaed to speak in front of the January 6th committee. Um, whether he does that or not, he probably won't, to be honest. Um, but to see, try to identify the impact of that and why the 6th of Jan committee have decided to do that. Um, you also need to make sure that you are understanding the midterm elections. They're less than three weeks away. Um, and so identify where the key battlegrounds are, um, what's the likelihood of a, of a change in the Senate and what's the likelihood of a change in the House of Representatives. Um, so for those, you need to research the above. Um, you can do it You can do it as a, as a pair if you wish, or you can do it individually. And you need to summarize the stories and then to link it to the parts of the specification. So you should all have a copy of the specification now. And so therefore you should either print off the stories or to write a summary of each story and then to say right well, where would you be able to use that within your uh, within your within your answers okay because don't forget the examples are very very important okay so um the structure of the uk executive now this is an interesting activity so when i first put this together in the summer um there would be one story there would be one one part um, that you'd come out with, um, looking at what's happened over the last 48 to 72 hours um, would actually suggest there's, there's a massive a massive change in what the answer would be on this. So 
on the right hand side is basically the structure of what the executive looks like. Um, so in one aspect, you've got <laughs> in one aspect, you've got um, the prime minister at the top and its relationship with the treasury, which is very, very important for with regards to today. Um, you've got the relationship with the with, with something called the cabinet office, then the cabinet, cabinet committees, and then the different departments. So that would be, for example, the um, Department of Health, the Department of Education, um, and, and things like that. So what I'd want you to do, um, first off in the textbook, it's page 118. And so I would want you to use that information to expand on and annotate around the diagram. Um, things like the cabinet office, you wouldn't have been look, you wouldn't have been exposed to that sort of type of language before. Um, so to use the, to, to identify what the cabinet office is, what is the treasury, what is the cabinet, what are cabinet committees, what are different departments, and then to start to think about well, why are there relationships between all these different areas? Okay. And now, in the, then, in addition to that, is I'd want you to then identify the examples showing relationships between the different elements. OK, so, for example, if we take the left hand side, if we take the idea of the Treasury versus departments, well, what is the link between them? What is what's the example that, that, that would that would be between them? So you can say that the Treasury provides the budget for government departments. You can say that, um, for example, the, the so-called Halloween medium term fiscal plan would then start to look at the idea of how much do those departments get from the big pot? of well not necessarily that big of a pot now but the pot of money that the treasury have um and then just think about how they all relate to each other okay so that's that's the first the first activity you need to do and then once you've done that is to start to think about the idea of well based on the structure is who holds the most power okay so who holds the most power in terms of is it the Prime Minister, is it the Treasury, um, is it the Cabinet? But what I really want you to think about is it's, you can't just think about it as the idea of a binary choice. You can't just say it's the Prime Minister or you can't just say it's the Treasury. You've got to think about the idea of the nuance behind the circumstance. So when you see things like today and what has happened over the course of the weekend, in normal times you'd say, you'd probably say, well, it's Prime Minister. Prime Ministers at the top of the tree, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you've got to think about the nuance of circumstance. So essentially, today, who actually holds the most power, and how does it change from a week ago, two weeks ago, six weeks ago, six months ago, um, fifteen years ago? Okay. So think of it. Think of it in the idea of that way. So although the although the structure seems like it's quite rigid. You've got to think about the idea, well, how does it change from one one part to another? OK, and then to round off, once you've done once you've done those two, two particular tasks is to then look at the idea of the, of the home learning. So this that task, think about it, it should really take you about an hour to do. So with regards to the home learning is to consolidate your learning by watching uh, video one of Prejude, so that's on the structure of the UK executive. So to put, take some additional notes on that, the proactive task is to look again at the chief examiner report for component two, but look at it from the UK side. Okay, we've looked at the ideology side, but to look at it from the UK side, think about the, the key learning points, and then in the next uh, in the next lesson is it will be be doing a a topic, uh, a, qu a pop quiz, basically, on the key thinkers of liberalism. OK, so those three tasks need to be done by our next lesson and make sure that you do that. Any questions, then just send me a message on Teams and I'll be able to get back to you because I'm I'm technically kind of working from home.